A big surprise today in the Christian Rivera trial. For the first time, we heard from the defendant himself. Good evening, I'm Aaron Kiernan. I'm Dan Winters, and today Christian Rivera claims somebody forced him to hide Molly Tibbetts' body. And today he took the stand in his own defense and offered a new story about how Tibbetts was killed. WHO 13's Kaylin Thompson is following the trial. She joins us live now from Davenport. Yes, good evening, Aaron and Dan. The story we heard from Christian Bahena Rivera today was a lot different than the one we've been hearing from investigators. And he says there are reasons he wasn't completely honest with them during that initial interrogation. Did you ever believe that things would be better if you told them what they wanted to hear? Yes. Was that often? Yes. Did they ever use the phrase, help yourself? Yes. And what did you take that to mean when they used that phrase? Well, that if I helped them, if I told them what they wanted to hear, that they could help me. Bahena Rivera told jurors two men broke into his home and forced him to drive. Rivera said they had weapons, their faces were covered, and they were wearing dark clothing. He did not know who they were. He testified that the two men directed him to a cornfield, and that's when he saw Molly's body in his trunk. Rivera said he didn't call the police because he was scared. The two men threatened to hurt his daughter and his daughter's mother. But the prosecution did have questions for him about how this story differed from what he told police in the interrogation. Rivera did admit it was his car on surveillance footage, and he was the one who put Molly Tibbetts in the cornfield. But her death was not on him. Mr. Bahena, we're not talking about the interview. I'm talking about what you did, okay? Are we clear? Okay. Yes. You stabbed Molly Tibbetts. Isn't that right? No. No. You're the one that did that. Isn't that true? Objection asked and answered. Sustained. You alone took Molly Tibbetts into the corn. Isn't that right? Yes. The two men that you mentioned didn't help you do that. Is that right? Correct. Correct. The defense did rest their case today after the jury heard from six different witnesses. We'll hear closing arguments tomorrow. Aaron. All right, Kaylin Thompson reporting live from Davenport tonight. Thank you.